Here we have a concave mirror and an object in front of the mirror. Three light rays coming from the tip of the object strike the mirror. Please draw the reflected rays to show the continuation of the three rays. A concave mirror does focus light, so the paraxial ray coming in should get reflected and go through the focal point. So this ray would go like this through the focal point, this way. The ray that goes to the center should get reflected symmetrically. So if it starts there, it should come down to here. So if I draw the continuation, it should go get reflected symmetrically to the principal axis. As for this ray that goes through the focal point, this one is going to get reflected parallel to the principal axis. Because the light rays are retraceable, if this ray comes from here parallel to the principal axis, it would get reflected and go through the focal point. That's why this ray coming from coming through the focal point will get reflected parallel to the principal axis. So in this case, the rays meet right here, and that's where the image is formed. So we have a inverted real image formed right there. The reason why we say that's where the image is formed is because if you look into the mirror over here, you will receive, in this case, three light rays. Of course, the person receives a lot of light rays coming from this tip of the arrow, but uh, we're just drawing those three to represent uh, some special rays. When we see a ray coming in this direction, we think that this ray must be coming from somewhere along this straight line because the uh, light rays travel in straight lines. And this ray will be coming from somewhere along this line. This one comes from somewhere along this line, and this is where the three lines meet. When our eyes receive these rays, our perception is that the rays look like they all come from this point right here. That's why we see the image of that object right here. Here we have a convex mirror and an object in front of the mirror. Three light rays from the tip of the object strike the mirror. Please draw the reflected rays to show the continuation of these three rays. A convex mirror does not focus light, so this paraxial ray is not going to go to the focal point, but its extension would. So, if I draw it with the extension going to the focal point, this ray would go that way, like that. The ray that goes to the center would get reflected symmetrically up and down, uh, symmetric ab about the principal axis. So this ray would come out like this. And this ray that has its extension going through the focal point would get reflected parallel to the principal axis. Because light rays are retraceable, if this ray comes in parallel to the principal axis, it will get reflected with the ray extension going through the focal point. So the ray with its extension going through the focal point will get reflected parallel to the principal axis. Now, of course, these three rays will never meet to form real image, but their extensions will meet back here. So this ray's extension goes back this way. This ray's extension goes back that way. And the extensions will meet right here 
to form a virtual image. Again, when our eyes receive these three rays, one, two, three, our perception is that the rays look like they come from this point right here. That's why we see the image of the object right over here. Of course, just for the purpose of finding the image, we do not need to draw three rays. We just need any of two of the three. We can find an intersection to locate the image.